Hello, Chevys. Happy International Women's Month. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy March. Happy soon to be spring. My name is Lynn Brownlee. I am a Budget and Finance Manager with the State Council of Higher Education for Virginia. And today I'm here to present um, one of what I hope will be many uh, videos in the series, What's Cooking Wednesdays? It's brought to you by the mid-level managers. And also the idea was um, borrowed from my daughter's fourth grade elementary school uh, class, Miss Newsom, uh, and they would do they would do cooking demonstrations of their favorite foods in an effort to get to know each other better as a part of the virtual learning that they had to do um, in 20, 2020 to 2021. So we're going to borrow that idea. Hopefully we'll see, ask a few people to present some ideas so we can get to know them better in their in this yet still virtual virtual learning and virtual working environment. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the Chev Foodies. We have several Chev Foodies and have had several Foodies since I have been working at Chev for over 15 years. We have um, had a Chev cookbook at one time that I, I hear about. I've never seen it, but I hear about it. And in addition to that, as part of the Commonwealth of Virginia campaign, CVC, um, but I think it's the state's branch of the United Way, we have taken time to do an annual bake sale um, from the folks at Chev, some of our relatives, some of our friends, they've made contributions. And one of the things that I would do annually is make this coconut pie. Um, it was my Aunt Estelle's recipe. It was very simple, very easy, but also um, hopefully, I mean, you know, it was just hopefully good, and delicious, tasty. Um, so today I would like to share that recipe with you. So we've pre-measured most of the ingredients and because I'm trying to show you how easy this recipe is, I'm going to just assemble them right now. Um, I have in my hand a wire whisk. I have a, some measuring spoons, and most of the ingredients, like I said, have been pre-assembled, pre-portioned. All right, so we're gonna start with a cup of milk. And we're gonna have, add to that, one cup of sugar. Then we're going to add a couple of eggs. Uh -huh. Try not to get the shell in the bowl, of course, but that happens sometimes. Uh, you know, it's like that sometimes. All right, so we have two eggs added. Then we want to add two tablespoons, tablespoon measure of flour. I'm gonna back that up a little bit. When I put my eggs and my milk and my sugar in the bowl, I just like to whisk it real good. Get this yellow custard color. It's like a sweet milk cream situation happening here. All right, if you can hear me talking over the wire whisk, you're good. So to that, we add ah, two, this is one tablespoon of flour. We need a second one. Okay, second one. All right. Then to that, we're gonna add a half a stick of melted butter. This is already cooled. It's clear, clarified, it's clear. And we're going to go ahead and pour it in. Okay, so it's melted, but it's, I'll tell you why it's cool. Because if it's too hot, it will curdle the eggs 
and it'll mess up the consistency of your pie. So I used the microwave to melt the butter, but it's probably been sitting on my table for about, I don't know, five minutes or so. So I add the butter, melted butter. And again, you're gonna whisk it. Not a lot, because you can over mix and you can break down the protein of the eggs. Okay, now to that, we're going to add six ounces of sweetened coconut, like Baker's coconut flakes. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, or you can actually add this before the coconut, it doesn't matter. Then you're going to add a tablespoon, a teaspoon, <laughs> teaspoon of coconut. Mm -mm, I'm sorry, a teaspoon of vanilla. This is imitation vanilla. I'm just making it for you know my folks, so you can use real. You can use real vanilla. Um, since you're baking, imitation vanilla actually serves. A, a similar purpose if you're not baking like if it's like a cheesecake or something that doesn't require like a chemical baking process then you probably want to use real vanilla okay so all right and at this point we're going to add this 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 is how easy this pie is we're going to simply add it this was a frozen pie shell and we're just going to pour it into the frozen pie shell, which kind of no longer is frozen. My, my producer is giving me directions. What is it, producer person? Okay, I just want to say, um, there is no such thing as too much vanilla. And also, when you uh, crack the eggs, make sure to let the ooey gooey get in the pie. All of the ooey gooey. We love ooey gooey here. Thank you, producer and strange person. <laughs> All right, so that that's the ingredients. Those that those are the ingredients. That is the pie. What we're going to do now is we're going to put it in the oven and. In about an hour, we're going to take it out. So the recipe calls for 45 minutes. Um, 45 to 50 minutes at a 350 degree preheated. You need to preheat. That was a step that we missed. Oven. Mine is already preheated. However, um, I like to like let mine cook a little bit longer because I like my pie just a little more firm, which means it might brown a little bit more at the top, but still the custard is set a little bit better, and that's how I make it in my house. So I'll see you in one hour. Okay, Google, stop. So, we have baked the pie for an hour. We have cooled it for about 15 minutes. And now it's time to um, slice it and try it out. Okay, so slicing it up here. I can see, <laughs> I can see a lot of butter in the pie right there. A lot of ooey gooey, as we like to say, this custardy, it's very custardy. And the shell is kind of coming out, but that's okay. That's okay. It happens like that sometimes. It goes like that sometimes. So, just so, there we go. Okay, right there. So this is what it looks like. Um, it's coconut on top, right? And then there's a custard underneath. So it's a lot of like, honestly, it's butter, sugar, a little bit of flour to thicken it up. And this is like the custard. So honestly, you could actually eat the custard without even messing with the coconut to be truthful. So there we go. And here we go. Mm. It's still a little warm, but it is delicious. And um, that's it. Coconut pie, or bon also appetit. known as coconut custard pie. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. <laughs>